How's it going right there, eh? It's Denis here from Denis Loves the Outdoors. Up at the wood lot, working on the cabin site. Um, so, a little bit of an issue. Um, right over here, I thought this was going to be a kind of a nice, sandy, good material kind of berm or bank. But it's not. It's solid rock. Which I guess is not too bad in a way. I'll just build on top of it. Or I'm just trying to figure out how to... Once I scrape that whole knoll off, then I'll be able to figure out exactly how I'm going to incorporate the cabin on there. So it kind of keeps going this way. That solid rock right there under the bucket is actually starts sloping down that solid rock right there. And then once I figure out what the deal is here, I'm hoping that it kind of drops off in a way. Um, what I was thinking was, was that the cabin was going to be kind of 20 feet this way, 16 feet this way, you know, and then heading that way. Um, as you can tell, the sun is setting there. So that's west, east. So I kind of wanted it straight on like that. Um, <clears throat> so I was hoping maybe on this end, um, or right in the center, I was going to dig and put a, uh, like, uh, like a cellar, like a cold storage cellar. That's what I was kind of hoping I was going to frame it up, pour concrete and, and maybe eight by 10 and then put like a slab on top of that and then have the cabin skid sitting right on top of that. Um, I still may be able, be able to do that if this rock starts dropping off here somewhere. So my plan is, is I'm going to eventually scrape off this whole nugget, I guess. And I have to knock down this big uh, pine tree. And what I'll do is I'll knock it down that away and uh, leave the branches on it and let the, let all the sap come out of it this summer like so it'll just keep sucking all the sap out to try to stay alive and then dry it right out and then I'll take a saw log off of that and maybe make a mantle or something for my cabin maybe someday so like I was saying I'm going to scrape all this off eventually not today um, and figure out exactly what I got and then I'll bring my level in here and figure out what elevations I gotta play with um, if this rock drops off like right in here, maybe I'll move the cabin this way because on this back side, I want to have kind of like a stone foundation slash fireplace. Um, and this would be like a fixture that would stay there. And then my cabin is going to be on, on a skid so that I can pull it out or move it. Um, the uh, municipality that I'm in right here, there's restrictions on um, what I can build, or I can't technically build um, a, like a house or a structure or something, but I'm allowed to have something temporary. Um, so that's kind of going to be the plan. Um, something that, you know, I'll have uh, like a big fireplace kind of stone foundation thingy on this end. Maybe on this end of it, I'll have uh, my outdoor kitchen and try to incorporate that. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do that yet. I'll have to sketch it out or something, but uh, that's kind of like what I'm thinking. And then once this is flattened out on this end over here, there's going to be like a, uh, a deck with a covered porch in a screened in area. And I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to cut this down. Obviously it's sloped, so drop it down and then have like pillars to hold that up so that I can have storage or I can drive the four-wheeler or something, anything like that underneath there and have some type of dry storage underneath that. And then uh, on this end, like I was mentioning in one other video, that on this upper end, which is going to be all rock now, um, Later on, I may build uh, a timber frame uh, kitchen attached, but it can be detached. Um, and it'll probably be like eight feet wide by whatever length the cabin is. 
you know, 20, 21 feet. I'm not exactly nailed on, down on the, this, the exact uh, size of it yet. Anyhow, uh, it's been a nice couple of days out here. Um, surprisingly, there's no bugs. So that's awesome. Um, I almost have the cabin road completely done. What I'm going to do is I'll walk over and show it. All of this organic stuff that I pulled out, I just kept ripping it up like a, like a pieces of carpet, throw it in a pile, then it would scoop it up with the front bucket, trying to find a home for it. So my plan is, uh, what I've been doing is I just, well, I don't know if the sun, I just stuck it right there in a big pile. For now, just to kind of try to get it out of the way. Um, next time, I'm going to scrape all of this here out and uh, kind of figure out where I'm at there. There's a nice big nugget right there that I pushed out of the way. And I believe there's another one right there. So I'm kind of stockpiling that stuff to save it. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, anyhow, the road... I just have to do this section right here. Gonna rip out some of these trees here on the right. And then I got another, I don't know, about 10 meters right there. And then the road is done. Um, like I was saying, man, it's so dusty. Like I was saying uh, the other day, I just wanted to be able to get in here so that I could uh, scrape all that material off, save any good uh, material, and then if I needed it, I'll work my way backwards instead of hauling it all the way from that gravel pit. I figured uh, this is a lot closer. I'll haul it in from here. Anyhow, uh, th that's it for now. Um, if you think of it, like, share, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching. That's the end there, eh?